so hello guys and welcome to my channel today this is Karen and we are doing some uh, reaction we are actually commenting on people's videos so today I decided to talk about the jump towards Africa story jump towards I think I don't know where the, the which country they come from but they have been on these streets of youtube and they he happens to be complaining about uh, about his uh, airbnb story with dimwango so jam tours has been on these streets all along he has been on the comment sections uh, of reactors everywhere the Modesta, Black Beauty, uh, Carol, King of Travel. He has been all over those uh, comment sections. And what he talks about is, is uh, that he was, but that Dim Wango happens to have, to have taken his money uh, about the Air, Airbnb in Nairobi. So the story that is coming out about the the two of them, Dim Wango and uh, Jam Tours, is that they were actually uh, a pair. They were something, they were in a relationship, you know? And uh, the person who said this is African Tigress. She said that she knew that they were in a relationship, but she doesn't know the rest of the story. So the, the thing is, Maybe uh, Jam Tours uh, trusted Dim Wango as a girlfriend and decided to invest in the Airbnb together. And now that uh, maybe uh, Dim Wango decided that she won't be dating him anymore, maybe is somehow bitter about it, you know? After they break up, maybe they is bitter about it and he wants his money back. Uh, and the, the real story is maybe they were not, it was not actually a business agreement because this uh, young tours, he hasn't become, been coming out with, uh, what, do you say, what do you call, an agreement or uh, something like what, a signed up agreement show that they did business together with Dim Wango and to add up on it uh, the this story has been only one-sided jump tours are talking about is talk, is always talking about it but Dim Wango has never come out with the, its uh, her side of the story so I feel uh, the reactors are not being fair a bit because the judgment is on one side. Dim Wango hasn't talked about her side. Maybe if she speaks about it, then we can judge who is in the wrong or who, who actually took the money. What was the agreement before? Was it a business? Was it a, what, a relationship thing? You know? Maybe it was a relationship that ended up uh, bitterly and he's still bitter about it. And he can't, uh, he can't stop. He can't stop attacking Dim Wango and her family. So we don't know the other side of the story. So let's wait until both sides talk about it. That is when we can actually judge uh, the whole story with fairness judging one side is actually not fair as the reactors have been doing you only on jump towards side without listening to the mongo's side so guys this story you can't, we can't call anyone a scammer at this point we can't we can't uh, title someone as a scammer because of such a story which is one-sided we need both sides of the story to judge it all so guys thank you for watching kindly subscribe and see you in my next video